My name is David. I'm a ship fitter at Ingalls Shipbuilding. A ship fitter is sort of like a carpenter, but we work with steel. We make the steel parts and we fit them into the position where they need to be to build the ship. Ship fitters do it all. We weld, we shape, we grind, we burn, cutting the metal with a uh, burning torch. And we do all this to actually build the structure of the ship. A typical day starts at six in the morning. First thing we do is we spend five minutes talking about safety items that we're gonna be faced with during the day. Safety is the number one priority at Ingalls. As soon as we have our safety briefing, we get our job assignments. Our foreman will give us the blueprints that we need for the job, and we read the blueprints, which tell us the location, where we'll be working, what piece we'll be putting in, and what that uh, piece is going to be made of. So we may need to find the material to even make that piece. Once we get our job lined out and know where we're going and what we're doing, we have some equipment to take care of. We have to pull burning lines for cutting the metal, air lines for hooking up our power equipment, and welding lines for so we can tack the piece into place where it needs to be. We also have some pretty heavy tool bags with lots of uh, lots of tools and lots of heavy equipment like come-alongs that we need to get up there as well. Once we get all this in place, we begin our work. We make sure that the material is going to fit into place, and to do that we have to prepare the location and prepare the piece itself. We work hard at this for about five hours at 11 o'clock. We have a 30-minute lunch, and this is the fastest 30 minutes of the day. After lunch, we get back to it for two more hours, finishing up our job, making sure that we have a first-time quality fit then we clean up, pack up our tools, roll our lines back up, and we're off work at 2.30. If you'd like to become a ship fitter, there's several avenues to get there. One, if you're in high school, be sure to take advantage of the vocational education opportunities that you may have right there in your school. Also, many junior colleges have vocational training. You especially want to pick up welding or a welding certification if you can get that and some of them even have ship fitting programs that are even more specific. Also if you want to become a ship fitter you really need to go ahead and finish your education. You need at least a high school diploma or a GED. The best way to get into this craft is to join an apprentice program. There are a lot of benefits there. Again you have to have your high school education completed or at least a GED, but the benefits are this is a full-time job where you're actually getting paid to learn the craft. The ship fitting program at Ingalls takes three years and it's very comprehensive. You start off in the training center where you learn all your basic skills, your welding, your burning, your general uh, ship fitting knowledge, both in the classroom and hands-on, and then you go out to the shipyard and you work with first-class journeymen ship fitters side by side day after day to learn your craft. And we also have on the job training instructors who come out and uh, check on us frequently. We're also evaluated on our work every month and we also attend the college one afternoon per week to take uh, six college level courses that are also required to complete the apprentice program. The best part of the job is knowing that you're doing something really big. We're working as a team to build the biggest, most advanced ships in the world, and there's really a good sense of satisfaction with that. A lot of other uh, good parts about the job, it pays very well. Um, if you work overtime, it pays even better than that. There are a lot of different people out here. It takes thousands of people to build a ship and you get to meet all kinds of people, work side by side with them and learn from so many other people. So you just get better and better at your craft every day. That's really fun. 
Other great things about the job is you get a lot of exercise. There, there's a lot of exercise involved in this. Squeezing into tight spaces, lifting uh, not too heavy loads, but you know, it's more like stamina. You get plenty of exercise. You don't have to go to the gym after work, that's for sure. Another great thing about the job is you get off at 2.30. That gives you a good part of the daylight hours to uh, enjoy the rest of your life. And you don't have to take your work home with you like a lot of other jobs. The worst parts of the job, the worst part of the job for me is getting up early. I get up at 3.20 every morning. I live about an hour away. Many of us commute about an hour to get to a great job like this. Um, we want to be prepared and we do start work at 6. That's a tough part. Other tough parts of the job, we work outside. When it's cold outside, sometimes we get cold. When it's extremely hot, we definitely get hot. We, we feel the extremities of the weather. Also, squeezing into those tight holes, climbing up and down ladders, finding yourself having to get into very uncomfortable positions to perform your work from time to time. Those are the worst parts, but the best parts definitely outweigh those. My final advice is definitely don't try to become a ship fitter if you're really, really out of shape. At least get yourself in some decent physical conditioning before you even attempt to do this. Anyone can really do it, but it's, it can be tough at times. Also, don't do it for the money. You really have to want to do this. You, you have to want to be a part of something like this because it can be really dirty. It can be sweaty. And that's okay as long as you're enjoying what you're doing. You know, there's so many things a ship fitter has to know how to do, and you can't learn them all at once. Every day you learn something new. There's so many processes that we have to master. It can become stressful if you're not careful with that. Best thing to do when that's happening, when you're just learning and learning and learning and trying to retain all that you're learning, is just enjoy the process and understand that here at Ingalls it's a very supportive uh, environment for learning. We, we, we want people to learn the craft so they'll be here a long time doing a great job for us. So don't let the stress get to you. I tell you, the best thing about this job that you'd really enjoy is when you see one of the ships that you've been involved with building for several years sail out of here and take off and go into the service of the United States Navy or the United States Coast Guard. That's that's a great thing.